Welcome back to another video. Buckle up for a wild ride as we delve into the fascinating world of the fossa, Madagascar's top predator. Often mistaken for a big cat, due to its powerful build, the fossa is a one-of-a-kind carnivore with a bag of surprising tricks. So grab your metaphorical pith helmets and let's embark on an expedition into the realm of this remarkable rainforest resident. Guys like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Fosses are champions of the climb. Their long, muscular limbs and sharp retractable claws allow them to navigate the dense rainforests of Madagascar with exceptional agility. They can even descend headfirst down tree trunks, a feat that would make even the most skilled gymnast envious. Fosses are classified as cat-like carnivores, but their evolutionary history is a bit of a puzzle. They share some characteristics with other mammals like mongooses and civets, suggesting an ancient lineage that diverged millions of years ago. Fosses are like living fossils, offering a glimpse into the distant past. Don't underestimate a fossa's sense of smell. These creatures possess specialized anal glands that produce a potent musk. They use this pungent scent to mark territory, communicate with potential mates, and even warn others of danger. It's their own private olfactory language. Fosses are primarily nocturnal hunters, using the cloak of darkness to their advantage. Their large eyes are well adapted for seeing in low light, allowing them to stalk their prey with stealth and precision. Imagine a silent shadow flitting through the forest at night. That's the fossa on the prowl. While fosses are known to prey on lemurs, their diet is actually quite diverse. They'll readily devour rodents, birds, reptiles, and even insects. They're opportunistic eaters, taking advantage of whatever prey is available. So while lemurs might be a favorite snack, fosses are not solely lemur lunching machines. Fosses are surprisingly vocal creatures. They possess a wide repertoire of calls, from hisses and growls to wails and screeches. These vocalizations are used for everything from territorial defense to attracting mates. It's a symphony of sounds in the Malagasy night, a secret language spoken by the fossa. Fosses are generally solitary creatures, except during mating season. Males compete fiercely for the attention of females, engaging in loud vocal contests and even physical altercations. Once a female gives birth, she raises her young alone until they are old enough to fend for themselves. Fossa mothers are fiercely devoted to their young. They take great care to raise their litters, which can number up to four cubs. They'll diligently groom their offspring, teach them hunting skills, and fiercely protect them from any potential threats. Motherhood is no easy feat, even for a top predator. Sadly, fossas face several threats, including habitat loss due to deforestation and competition for resources with introduced predators. Conservation efforts are underway to protect these fascinating creatures and their rainforest home. By supporting these initiatives, we can ensure the fossa continues to reign supreme in the Malagasy ecosystem. Fossas hold a special place in Malagasy culture. They are often seen as symbols of power and cunning, and their image can be found in traditional art and folklore. The fossa is more than just a predator. It's a thread woven into the rich tapestry of Malagasy tradition. So there you have it, a glimpse into the captivating world of the fossa. From their acrobatic skills to their surprising social life, these remarkable creatures continue to amaze us. Let's remember the importance of protecting this unique species and its precious island home. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the fossa. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you all back on the next video.